Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we turn this cable mess into this. It was quite a bit of work to get this done and we added a few access points and an AI360 camera. We ended up putting up a 15U rack, which we didn't purchase. The customer did purchase that, which was a little bit big, but it ended up working out to put in their NAS as well as their modem. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel and are buying Ubiquity gear, please use our Ubiquity affiliate link down below. Now let's jump straight into the video. All right, and this is the job that we're in today. We're not doing any of the networking, but what we're gonna do is clean up all these cables here. We're gonna have to cut them off of the patch panel and put them onto a new patch panel. Um, all these switches, they will be getting deleted and we'll be putting it into this unified gear. We're gonna end up putting a rack in this corner with a backboard and then uh, putting patch panels into it, as well as mounting an AI360 camera. So this is the cable trunk that's going back to the network room. I'm gonna just tie it up a little bit higher on these bars right here with Velcro going all the way back to make it a little bit neater. All right, so now we have the rack up. What we need to do next is unplug all of these cables and I'm gonna have to cut the cables off the back of the patch panel. We'll mark it with the Sharpie. There is uh, 10 data jacks and then eight phone jacks. So we'll mark that off. Pull the bundle up from the wall and then bring it down over into the rack and then begin terminating. Now I begin unplugging all of the network cable and then labeling the back of the cables. The reason we do this is so we know what it is instead of running around and finding all of the other cables. Now I cut all of the remaining cables off the back of the patch panel and then route the cable bundle into the network rack. It was a little difficult as there were zip ties on it, but we did cut all those zip ties off. So the original company that installed the cables didn't leave any slack. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do, the first patch panel will be our telephones as their PoE and the top switch will be a PoE switch. So it will be a patch panel, then it will be the switch. It will be another patch panel and another switch. Uh, and we'll be using six inch cables and we need to get these all terminated. Before I terminate the cables, I push them through the keystone patch panel and mark them with the sharpie. And then we begin terminating. I use vertical cable VMAX CAT6 jacks and their eye punch tool and I'll have links down below in the description. We now have the switch and the first patch panel in, which will be all for our VoIP phones. The reason I do it like this is this switch only has 16 PoE ports. So these top eight will be plugging into the top eight PoE. We'll put another patch panel and we'll put in a couple more data jacks. For the voice, we're gonna use yellow keystones and yellow patch cables. And we're using rack studs to rack all this gear.
Lots of people ask to see the back of the patch panel, so here it is. There are zip ties, but very loosely on the cable manager, and we do label the back of each of our cables. Like always, this is my favorite part. I'm putting in six inch patch cables between the patch panel and the switch. The last thing we need to do is to mount the AI360 camera. We had to drill a hole up into the ceiling and then fish with the glow rod down where the AI360 was and then put an RJ45 end on the end of the cable. And that's going to be it for this on-site video. I really enjoy doing these type of videos and I think the viewers enjoy them as well. This job went a little bit quicker as I had my brother there helping me out. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Again, if you'd like to support the channel and are buying Ubiquity gear, use my Ubiquity affiliate link. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Alright, thanks.